So to start with, I'm going to mix these two colours together. And they are going to be my base shade. The reason why I'm mixing the two together is because I'm not quite as pale as ounce, but I believe Chase is a little bit too much. I'm going to pop this all over. Especially in that crease line. I'm going to take a little bit of ounce. Look up and just run it under my lash line. Next I'm going to take the brush it came with and I'm going to take Chaser and I'm just going to press this into my lid. I also find it better to do my eyeshadow looking down. And that sounds dead weird, but when I do this, I get a crease in my lid and sometimes I mistake that crease for being my socket. So sometimes when I'm doing my top eyeshadow, it ends up being really low. So I like to look down so I can see where my eyelid ends. Next, I'm going to take the third shade in. That one is called Sourced. And it's like this. I'm going to take a little fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to dab a little bit on tap most of the excess off, look down and I'm going to chuck this straight in to my crease. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going to take the brush the palette came with and I'm going to start with, we're going to start with this shade. This is the last four shades. We're going to use this one, followed by this, followed by this. Okay, so taking a little fluffy brush. I'm going to take this, tap off any excess, blow away the dust. I'm going to place this, I'm going to dab it onto my eyelid. I'm going to go about halfway, do the same again with the other side. Then I'm going to take a MAC 217 and I'm just going to blend through the middle so it kind of smudges all together. I'm then going to take the next shade along. I believe it's called N. No idea. <laughs> I'm not even going to pronounce it. I'm not even going there. Okay, so just wiping off any excess on the brush, dabbing in again, tapping away. I'm then going to place this shade just further out, going down into the corner. Once again, taking my MAC 217, we're going to blend it through. Make sure there are no harsh lines. If you can't get rid of the harsh line, I'm just going to go back to the shade before, place a little bit over the top of it, and blend again. I'm loving how it's transforming through the colours. Then I'm going to take the shade Ashes. I'm going to pack quite a bit onto my brush. I'm going to do this corner. Same in on the other side. And this time with my MAC 217, I'm going to do swirls and push up through the crease. I'm loving this look so far. I'm loving this look. I just want to do something a little bit different. And I do genuinely love how it just gravitates to the dark. I'm then going to go back to ashes. I'm going to pop a bit in this bottom corner. Even though most of that will be covered up by eyeliner. I want to keep it going. I'm going to take a little angled brush now. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. And I'm going to take this shade just here. This is called Scorched. And I'm just going to drag my brush once through, tap off any excess. I'm going to run this under my lower lash line. Okay. 
just to add a little bit more. I'm going to take a little teeny tiny round ended brush and I'm going to take this shade here. This shade is called Lumber and I'm going to take it very small amounts. I'm going to pop this into the corner of my eye. I'm then going to go back the top end of my naked heat brush. I'm just brushing away all the colours. So we're back in with Chaser. I'm just going to make this a little brighter. I am loving this. Right, time for some eyeliner and we'll do some close ups. And because I want it really black, this eyeliner isn't really black, I'm going to finish it off with a pencil. And of course, the look wouldn't be complete if we didn't use our trusty roller lash. And this is the finished look. So I'm going to zoom in. And there we have it. I'd like to thank you so much for uh, sticking through with this get ready with me. I absolutely love this look. This look is so pretty like seriously so pretty i hope you guys copy it it looks so i don't know how the camera's picking this up but it looks amazing in real life and it's all created using my naked heat palette which i love so much so i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up don't forget if you've made it this far and you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button one will appear just here Click over in the top corner to see one of my latest videos and click down in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you guys. And I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. And bye-bye.